What does the what does the most high God require of you? This is what we read. What does the most high God require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to what? But to fear the Lord thy God. How do we fear the Lord? Tequila. How do we fear the Lord? Is society teaching us how to fear the Lord? I hear you. I don't know about everybody else, but I don't fear the Lord. You don't fear, you don't fear the Lord? You don't, you don't believe in God? But the most of our God is telling us to fear him. Yeah, let me get you, let me, since it's different, it might be, your de the definition may be a little bit different. Right. Slightly different right. than what the Bible is saying, what fear is. Right? Because right? the trip self say that the, uh, the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. That is true. But check this out, though. You understand what I'm saying? Check this. What you got? It's one night. This is the definition out of God's mouth. Right. right. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse one. One, one, verse 120 my flesh trembleth for the fear of thee uh -huh. and I am afraid of thy judgments now being afraid of his judgments you understand what I'm saying the most high God has he brought this upon our people right here you see this you know what this is this was judgment based off our sins you know like take, putting a whole nation of people in slavery Right? This is God's judgment. I'm not talking about somebody walking down the block and that's able to take your life. Right? Only the true God can sit there and put a whole nation in, under captivity, under oppression of another nation. No, of all the other nations. Now name uh, 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 a Joe Smo in the hood that can do that to a whole nation. Can't nobody do that but the Lord. So when you fear the Lord, you're fearing his judgments. Yeah, what right. he can do. He fear him. That, that was how the scripture goes, fear don't fear him that, that killeth the flesh, but the but the soul. Is that Matthew? 10, 28. Huh? I didn't hear you. Matthew? Oh, it's what I'm talking about. Matthew. You got it? So when I say fear, it's not you just shaking in your boots for no reason. You just know what the, the most high God is capable of. You understand what I'm saying? And you have to take that, that fear that you say you have and do exactly what he tells you to do. That makes sense? If he tell you to go right, you're going to do what? Yeah, he tell you to go left, you're going to do what? He'll be all about, nah, go left again. Tell you go left, you're going to do exactly what he's telling you to do. This is what we hear. We're here giving you the Lord's instructions. What's going to give you the kingdom, get you the kingdom of heaven. You got that for me? I want that right there, then you can go back to there. Matthew chapter 10 verse 28 And fear not them which kill the body Say that again And fear not them which kill the body Don't fear me Don't fear your sisters Don't fear anybody else out here, right? Because we all gotta go You understand? We all gotta go, right? But check this out, read. But are not able to kill the soul But nobody can take your soul It's only one being that can take your soul so you got to be in all subjection to that, to, to most high God that can sit there and take your soul. Right. You understand what I'm saying? What is it? Read. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Now who else can do that? Who else has a hell to place you in? Who else can cast that judgment on you? Nobody. So go back to um, Psalms. Go back to Psalms. Go back to Psalms. Go back to Psalms. Would you read it again? You got it for me? Yes, sir. Let me go. Psalms chapter 119, verse 120. My flesh trembleth for what? My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. The, my what? My flesh my bad. trembleth for fear of thee. Read. And I am afraid of thy judgments. I, I'm afraid of your judgments, Lord, because I know what you're capable of doing. Right. Right? Now, if we bring that to a, in a, 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 a aspect, a perspective of your earthly father, right? Was your earthly father in your life growing up? He was, right? Uh, your mother? Right. But it was something, it was just something about the father, right? As, as far as like, I'm gonna wait till your daddy get home. The, the, yeah, it's different, right? Uh, you, might, you might can dance circles around mama. You know what I'm saying? But when she's like, oh, you know what? I had enough. Wait till your father get home. You like, oh, daddy come. So it's the same, it's the same, it's the same dynamic with the Father in heaven, right? We're supposed to have that, uh, that respect for him. You said you had something else for me? Deuteronomy 2, 10. Yep. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? You. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to what? But to fear the Lord thy God. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. Right? Read. And 
to love him nah. and to serve the Lord thy God. Uh, and to do what? And to serve the Lord thy God. The scripture said to love him. Give me love. The scripture said to love God. So how do we how do we show our love to the Father? Right? He's not physically here. Okay. By what? Sing, uh, We're about to show you what love is. We're about to show you what love is. Sis, I got something for you. The book of First John, chapter five, verse three. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. What? For this is the love of God. Listen, tequila, sister tequila. This is the love of God, right? That we keep His commandments. That we what? That we keep His commandments. And where do we find those commandments, sister tequila? Where do, where do we find those laws that we're supposed to keep to this day? Don't be asking me hard questions. No, they're not hard. No, no, no. Hey, sis, check this out. I'm not saying that for real. Now, what are we reading out of? Right, right, right. So what do you think the book of the law or the laws reside in? They got to be in the Bible, right? Give me Isaiah 34, 16. Is that right? Or 36 and 14? Yeah. So, just so you know, so come on with it. You read? All right. All right. So now we'll give you understanding. All praises. So check this out. You got that for me? Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 Read Seek ye out of the book of the Lord Do what? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord uh -huh. And read So this is how we're going to learn those laws and statutes and commandments And find out what the Lord requires of us right. By his, This is the only thing we have uh, in connection with the Father Because this book is spiritual Whether we know it or not I don't care how long it sat on your dresser and right. clicked it dust but this is the words of God. That's right. This is the words of life. Because everything else is surrounded out here, where we're surrounded by is death. That's right. So if you want life, you have no other choice but to grab this book or gravitate to this book. That's right. Because you've been oppressed. Right. right? You you tired of seeing your brothers and sisters killed in the street. You understand what I'm saying? This this it has no he has no uh, get what he wants. Get yeah, get what he called. And that's what I'm saying. This, we got to wake up. We got to wake up because the way we're living, we're living cursed. I don't know how long you've been here, sis, but we are um, prime examples of prime victims. But we are living the curses of Deuteronomy 28. Right, right, right. Right? You know about the curses of Deuteronomy 28? I don't remember in my heart, but I remember. So check this out in your mind. Right, 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 right. Because the heart is a mind, right? Right. Right. Mark 7, 21. Give me that what you got. Watch. We, well, we're going to go through them curses, sis. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Read. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the what? This is the book of the commandments of God. So when you say, when you command some, when you, com when you, when a command is given, what is that? What is a command? Like you said, like, like you supposed to do all the Right, like you command a dog to sit here, play dead, right? This is, read it again. This is the book of the commandments of God. Now, nah, of Jody up the street. Of the commandments of God. Uh, Joe Blow across in the gas station right there. Of the commandments of God. Now, you say, we say we fear God, so that means we need to adhere right. to what the Most High God is telling us right. through this book. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.